you head to the polls in November, you will be asked to choose between candidates from individual political parties. Uh, next month, members of the same party will be vying for a place on that ballot. In 24 Hour News 8's Rick Albin has a look at another one of those races that you'll be asked to decide. The 100th House District covers a sprawling three-county area that includes Oceana, Lake, and Nuego County. The current first-term representative for the district is John Bumstead. He's a contractor by trade. His opponent in the Republican primary is a retired teacher who is unhappy with some of the legislation supported by Representative Bumstead and by Governor Rick Snyder. We talked with Stuart Sanders and Bumstead about their views of the problems facing the state. I think it's never-ending. I think there's, you have uh, new issues pop up all the time. It was, I think it was very important to get a balanced budget and get it done on time. Two years in a row had never been done before. I just think that shows good business sense. It shows the people of Michigan that we are serious about getting the, the state economy on track. And, that, and what we have done the last year and a half, we are headed in the right direction. And uh, we want to keep doing that. We want to keep making it easier to do business in Michigan. You know, you know look at the rules and regulations. And the new directors in the dif different departments that the governor has appointed, I think, are doing an excellent job. It just takes time. Um, it, you can't cure a lot of the Michigan problems overnight. In part because I feel like uh, our representative had uh, campaigned on some issues that uh, he turned his back on. Um, that being local control, some small business issues, uh, education piece, uh, taxing pensions. Uh, you know, those kinds of issues are at the forefront of our area, especially in a very um, poverty-stricken area, impoverished area. We have two of the three poorest counties in the entire state. So small business issues, to me, are at the forefront. The winner of this race will take on Democrat Ida DeHaas in November. You can see this and other profiles by going to the On Politics tab on WoodTV.com. And of course, stay with us for more candidate profiles as we examine the primary races you'll decide in Decision 2012.